Hi everybody and welcome to another 3D tutorial. We are going to draw a castle and in 3D I'm using a 2B graphite pencil and also an A5 drawing paper. What we do first is we fold it into half. And then we have a start for our setup and we take the graphite pencil but first we want to set out some points. I put one here on 3 and 6 centimeters. That will be the opening width and about 8 centimeters high. And for the bottom part, that's the cellar steps and the opening to the cellar. I put it in about six and a half centimeters. Then what I do first is I draw in the arch for the entrance of the castle. And these are the lines for the part that is going downwards to the cellar. Now the first step is sticking out as you can see and that line is exactly on the center where the paper is folded. And then I draw in the staircases that are going upwards, so all the way to the left corner. Then it's time to draw in the steps that are going down below. Take good attention of the angles that I'm drawing in, and in that way I'm drawing all the way down. I want to draw in bricks too. So first I draw in those uh, little tiny bricks that are just around the edge of the arch and then I take my black marker. As you can see I carefully draw in in between the rocks that are around the arch and all the side of the top wall and also the wall that is going down below into the cellar. With a Stedler fine liner, I draw in the lines. I simply trace the lines that I did with the graphite bar and graphite pencil, I mean. And with that same graphite pencil, I'm drawing in shadows. Now, in the mid part, I do not put in too much shadow, but in the way top, Part and down below and here on the side I put in extra shadows. Then I start drawing in each and every brick of that castle wall. As you can see I make the lines of the bricks. <laughs> That's my cat. Hi sweetie. I draw the lines of the stones and the bricks. A little bit curly so they appear very old and the bricks on the wall itself are slightly bigger than the little bricks around the arch. Then I put in a little bit of shadow in between the bricks to make them pop out a little bit and for the ground part I just put in some little pebbles, small dots at the end and bigger dots here in front. So then your drawing is ready and we have to get and figure out the perfect corner in which we are going to place it and then we take picture of it to see what the effect is. Now this one was made on my kitchen uh, table and I think it's an awesome effect. I wish you all the luck with your drawing hope to give that you give this a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you again in my next tutorial